Hey guys, Steve from Muse Themes here. Are you struggling when you work with image galleries like the gallery I have on screen because you can't figure out how to update images or when you click on an image, this Lightbox version isn't updated as well. It's really a common question that we get from people. So here's a power tip on how to kind of work with our galleries and kind of the, just the basics of working with different styles of galleries within Muse. I'm going to run through this one, which is the Mosaic Gallery. And I've also got the Simple Set Gallery. These are two great examples because one uses a slideshow and the other one uses a composition. Those are both default native Muse widgets that we've styled to look like this. So let me jump into Muse and the first one we'll talk about is the Mosaic Gallery. So I'm going to create a new page here and from our library panel you'll see the Mosaic Gallery if you've downloaded the widget. And let's just drag this on the screen. Okay. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can see this better and I'll move this to the center of the window. I don't need this little CSS add-on either. I'm going to delete that out for now. So you can see that first of all if I click on this slideshow that up in the top left, it actually says it's a slideshow. It's not a composition or something like that. So the way that a slideshow works is on the widget flyout panel on the right side here, it gives you an add images button. And so this is really helpful. You don't get that button on some of the other widgets. And the first thing that I would recommend you do with a gallery like this is if you select it, and then we control click on it, basically right clicking on a PC, you can go down and click clear widget contents. And what this is going to do is it's going to just remove all of the images that come with the gallery prepackaged. It's not going to remove any of the styling or anything like that. So let's go clear widget contents there. So now that we've done that, you can see that we basically have a blank box with nothing in it. From there, we can go ahead and add all of our images. There are a couple different ways that you can add images. We could use the flyout panel here. So if we select the blue arrow and we click add images, and if we have a whole folder, we could select the whole folder and just click open. And you can see that Muse will automatically pull them all into the gallery. So that's really handy. Another way that we could do this is I'm just going to undo that. So here we've got the original again. I'll clear the contents. Okay, and now what we could do is we could actually go to that folder and we could drag and drop these images right into Muse, right on top of that gallery. And you see when I do that, I get kind of a placed cursor here. Let me move this window. And now with the placed cursor, I can just click and all of the images go right into the gallery as well. So another great solution for getting those images in there easily. Now, if I do preview this gallery in the browser, you'll see that when I mouse over an item, it actually launches in a light box. And you might think, well, this is really small. Like it's not taking up very much room in the light box. So let me close out of this light box for a sec. And I'll show you how to get at that in Muse. So let's go ahead and look at the flyout panel. And what you need to look for is under the very bottom part, it says editing and there's show light box parts while editing. When we click that, the light box appears right on top of the gallery. So this is where you can kind of go in and start tweaking those images. The only annoying part is that it is right on top of the gallery. It's really hard to see what you're doing. But the funny thing about light boxes is because they're not an on canvas element, they're always just going to pop up in the middle. You can move them way off the side of the canvas and it's not going to matter. So I'm going to zoom way out again and let me just select this light box. And of course I have to select kind of all the elements that go with it. So the forward back buttons and the close button and that sort of thing. Okay. And I'm just going to move it off to the side here, just like that. So now you can leave it off to the side like that all the time. And when we click on images within the gallery, we can actually edit them one at a time. So I'll click on this first one here and we can to kind of double click into this image container and we can scale the image up to fit. Then we could also go ahead and adjust our caption and we can do that for every single image in the gallery. So always remember to move those thumb or the light box area way off the side. And we don't even need to move it back. We can preview this page in the browser right now. And when I click on an item, it still comes up right in the middle of the screen. So that's the mosaic gallery. Now this is a slideshow, but what happens on widgets where we're using the composition? So let me show you another example of that. I'm going to create a new page 
And I'm going to drag out the gallery called the Simple Set Gallery. All right. So Simple Set is a bit different because this uses the composition instead of the slideshow. And if you don't know the difference between the two, basically a composition is a little bit more flexible. So with a composition, you have what's called a trigger area, which is typically used as like a thumbnail or a button, and you have a target area. And the target area is what's going to change or appear when we click on the trigger. So right now we've got all these triggers along the bottom, and it they all link or relate to this target area on top. And so with a composition, you can actually add more elements. We could add a text box right in here that said, you know, something like Adobe Muse. And you can't do this with a slideshow. A slideshow won't kind of allow you to just customize and drop in unique elements, but you can do this with a composition. So it's really powerful. So you can see now if I have text here in the middle of this target, of course it's very small. So let me go up to say 50 and I mouse off that, you can see that it does stay in that target area. So compositions have their own kind of usage, but they're a little bit different when it comes to editing. So the thing with this is each of these triggers is linked to the target area, but they're not part of one complete gallery. If I select the widget and I control click and go clear widget contents. So once I've cleared the contents out, it looks like, okay, we've just got one image left. But now I can't go ahead like I did in the slideshow and drag and drop a bunch of images onto it. You can see that they don't really appear with it in the correct way. It's just not set up to accommodate images like that. So what the best way to edit a gallery like this is I'm going to undo my clearing of the content. So I go back to kind of the fresh gallery and I'd recommend you edit these ones using the assets panel. So if I click on one of the first images here, and you can see that there is a fill image applied. It's one.jpg. Well, let's go to the assets panel on the right side. So let's go ahead and look at one.jpg. We will control click or right click on it on a PC and go relink. And let's select a new image. So we could just select something like this image of the girl walking and click open. So now it has changed in both spots at one time. And this is why with compositions, I recommend using the assets panel to do it because you're kind of replacing the source image rather than trying to fuss with messing in the gallery. Another thing that happens really commonly with the composition is if I click on a trigger, then we think, okay, great. I can just edit what's in this trigger area. So I go up to the fill where I can see if an image is applied and I add a new fill in there. So let's just add a new fill and see what happens. Great, looks like it's in there. But now when I click off that to a different one, you can see it seems to be jumping back to the original. This is an issue caused by states. So when I click on this trigger and I go up to the left side here, it says it's a trigger, but the state of the trigger is the active state. So basically it means this is the state where you've clicked on it and somebody's looking at this specific image. But if we wanna change the thumbnail for it, we should really be changing it in the normal state. That's the state where when it's in the gallery and it's not selected, what's going to display. So you can see that I did change one of them, the active, but we really need to change the normal. So I'm just going to delete the active state out. I'm going to click on the normal state here and from there I'll change the fill. So let's change it to that one again. Okay. So now it looks the same as what we did before, but when I click off of it, it does actually stay as that thumbnail that we selected. Now you're probably wondering too, why when I changed the thumbnail there, it didn't change the target area. Well, that's because of the way a composition works. The trigger and the target can be totally different things. It's not like a slideshow where they're linked together. So when you change one of the triggers, if you want the target area to change, you also have to click on it until it says target there on the left. And you can see that it has its own fill applied. So let's change it to also be that one that we just use. I think I selected a different one, but it doesn't matter. So you can see here that now when I click off of it and I click back on that trigger, the image is changing to the one that we selected. So you kind of need to change them twice if you're using the composition widget. And that's why using the assets uh, system for this works a little bit better because when you change it once, it's going to change it everywhere that it's been used on the site.
Now, if you want to add more images to this gallery, if you hit the plus button, it adds another one to the right side. So it doesn't realize that we are kind of manually formatting these thumbnails and wrapping them down below. So you can just move the thumbnails wherever you want. That's the great thing about the composition. It's really flexible like this. So you could add as many as you want and go ahead and just fill in the triggers and fill in the corresponding target areas and update this gallery really easily. So you can see that there's a big difference between the composition widget and the slideshow widget when it comes to working with an image gallery. They're both powerful, they're both used for specific things, but I think this video should help explain the differences and subtleties of editing them. If you have any questions or issues with this, please let us know. I hope this really helped. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.